Well, welcome back to me updates. Now, as you can see in the front of you here, I have built a number of Bayjack time travel capacitor circuits. And um, this one here has got a pulse mode switch. I've actually virtually modified the light switch here and included the flash LED in it to pulse it. And this is the push button to initiate the charge. And I've got the dial plates, which I've been waiting for to come, and I've come there right here. Really nice looking things for fine calibrations. And I've got the other ones here, and I feel it's this one here is the one that I was roughly testing when I later on found out I lost time off my watch and I experienced a reality change. I mean, I stood outside in the dark under the patio and I had this eerie feeling that the, the reality just wasn't right. It's like, a, you know, like I was in a few minutes in the future or whatever. Right, the buzzers are at the front of these here. I'll put them down there. See that one there? And there's one there fixed in there. And here's my latest one here. It's a real big one here. This one is a 1215.9 microfarad major capacitor. The exact um, values used for this one here, which is they reckon, is, which is what they reckon is a critical energy required to time travel. And I've got my bigger dial plates here, as you can see. Great for calibrations. I've got my pulse LED here, and I'm using a buzzer. I'll put the buzzer a bit off centre here. I didn't put it in the middle there, so I made an error in there. I've got the buzzer here, the beep and pulse. Now, this is the same type of buzzing using the reversing alarms for cars. And when they go beep, 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 when they go backwards. And I've got the charge LED here and the power LED. So I'll switch it on. The power LED comes on. Press the button, the charge LED lights up. And this is a pulse one. This is a flash LED put inside that same globes here to flash it and pulse it. So anyhow, I've got to properly test all these out yet. I've got two identical watches already that I can use to keep time on when I start the test, when I find the right time to do it. But anyhow, that's it. The Bajak passivers. So when I get some testing done, I'll be able to start taking notes about how they all go there. Now here's a close-up on the dial plates here. As you can see, they're from China. Great stuff to get on the eBay. And these ones here, perfect for fine adjustments here. If you want a dial plate there, this is what you should get. Okay, thank you for watching the video, and I'll update you later on when I get some more testing done.